Welcome, everybody. We are starting into our ESO housing hike. This is casually touring player houses in the Elder Scrolls Online, seeing the cool things that you can do with the houses, with the furnishings, and with a little bit of creativity and design, you can do amazing things, infinite possibilities. And I'm J.R. Ellis. I'll be your tour guide as we visit a bunch of homes on the PC and a server tonight. This is something I stream live each week at twitch.tv slash J.R. Ellis, and it's something to PCU, PCEU, and PCNA. We're going to go to nine homes tonight on PCNA. Here we go, we're gonna go to Pan Pandora Heart Stillwater's Retreat. And there's no particular theme to this. We'll see lots of different styles of houses, and so maybe you can get some ideas if you're working on your own, or you can just enjoy these as we go and tour through. So, exciting, exciting, I'm excited. And we have Twitch chat here, they'll be chatting and emoting and all the good stuff today. So, Pandora says that they have some, now this is interesting, they have some animation effects here. Um, so, I will, Try to be paying attention to some of the things as I go through here. I'm going to send the guest journal from Essential Housing Tools. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, it must all be outside then. Okay. Still waters. Big frozen ice lake. Oh, this is more than just an ice lake. So, yeah, again, still waters is just normally big flat space, right? So they've built up this entire entire structure. Quite a big structure there. We have a red carpet, very fancy. We have, oh, we have fireworks going on with the visual effects going up on top. Cool, well, I think I'm just gonna go in. Red carpet laid out for me, rolled out for me here. Okay, what do we have? We have snow, we have well, where to, where to go? Where to go? Do I go up? Do I go through? Uh, oh, ooh, oh no! There's it's like a big complex. Where to go first? Right. I have guar, guar. Praise bees, praise bees. Okay, very revered guar there, and still kind of like a holiday home going on with this. Let's see if they actually have a coffer. They have a jester's coffer. What do they have in the coffer? Oh, they actually have some crystals in there. Cool, cool, cool. I actually bothered to put something in there. <laughs> okay, little prize just for me. Okay, very festive. So coming into January, probably not going to see very many holiday homes going forward, but what do you have? Oh, we have some NPC text with the uh, visual effects. Are you enjoying the dance with the stars? Now try standing on the gaps between vertices of these invisible tiles. You'll fall, but fret not. You'll find a secret passageway there. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Oh, which one's the gap? I think I can tell where the gap is. Um, I think the gap's right there. <laughs> okay. So this is using the obverse side of the constellation ste steels, steelies. They are, like, invisible. Now... No, I don't dare go there. I, I gotta go explore more before I go into the secret passageway, right? Okay, so I'll I'll leave the mystery for now. No, 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 no. We'll do the mystery now. I'll come back. Oh, no. Okay, it's gotta be here. It's gotta be here. It's gotta be here. Oh, no. Where am I going? I'm dead. I've been whisked away to a heavenly plane. Oh, no. Where might I be going? There's such a void. We have... I might be dead. I guess I'm dead. Oh, what majesty lies before me in the great beyond. It's just ice. It's cold. Very cold. So cold. Oh, no. There's something here. Oh, whoa. What is this? It's a... <laughs> I'm awful. We have a dinosaur. You found my humble abode. Make yourself at home. Here's truly the dutiful guar. Oh, we had the guar up before, right? Um, it's like a little, it's like, it's like a little T-Rex instead of a choir, though. I love how they have the little lich right here, like, with the little T-Rex arms. Um, I love this little bust creation. These are the sorts of things I love to see in housing. Um, just, like, more, more fun, creative things like this, using those textures. Um, so I guess I, I guess I get to... Worship a T-Rex in the afterlife. <laughs> little, little tail there. Oh, I love it. It's, it is precious. Um, okay, well, is there... I guess this is the afterlife for me, then. I just worship this. Okay, I'm gonna go worship this. Okay. 
Okay, I guess this is my eternity. Now, mm, okay, I'll go back. This, this was maybe supposed to be how I ended. <laughs> I got a little impatient there. I'm going to go back to the beginning, and we will not fall in the hole of doom this time. Sovin Guar, that's right, that's right. That's really cute. I, I, I like how they had put everything together. It was uh, well constructed there. Okay, let me go back and not fall into the death pit. Death pit, usually good to save for last, I found out. Okay, so no death pit this time, no death pit. Now I feel bad about closing the door. Okay, so there was more. Okay, what else do they have in here? They have, oh, this is kind of fun. It's like a violin. <laughs> it's like a couple of the bellows and a rolling pin. And they're, that's, that's clever. You have the bullhorn up above there. Really fun, really fun. Okay, the dance. So it's like a dance floor. I do like that. Using the various house guests, maybe a couple of uh, statues here. We'll call them statues. Um, yeah, to represent the dancers there. Okay, anything around the back? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Show more houses. And we want to see your house, Jay. Give the people what they ask for. <laughs> Juliet, thank you, thank you. We're doing, we're doing lots of houses. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, so much, with that, with that resub. Okay, I'm trying to explore more of this house. Oh, I, um, I saw there was more structure out around the back. I just don't want to miss anything because they put a lot into this. Um. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Hope you're enjoying the PCNA housing. Okay, I think I'm done with the inside. Okay, that's good, that's good. Keep okay, going out. More. We do love, love house tours here. I also run multiple housing contests a month. So, all fun stuff. Oh, a little lip. Getting up higher into this custom structure. We have like these kind of mock windows with the shutters. Using the wisteria out front. Very fun, very fun way of doing this. Ooh, more more windows this way using the those dwarven mirrors. Very beautiful. Using the hawk moth cabbage, kind of like a planter outside. Have my speed on. I have maybe a little speed on. I but I think it's okay. I have one swift thing on. Okay. Okay, and what else was outside? Mm, moo. Moo. Cassium with follow. Thank you, thank you. Now I saw that there was at least one more thing out over this way, right? No, there there was some there was definitely something out back. Can I get up higher? I feel like I can't get in. Maybe it's just supposed to be a architectural visual piece. Well no no no. Th this is what I saw. This is what I saw. Some sort of platform up. Maybe it's just so you get a good view of everything. Something in the back, by the way. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm uh, working my way around. It's such a big space, and you added so much to this. Okay, yeah, I think this is like a good viewing platform here, right? Oh, yeah, it's like so so super high up. Something around the back. Can I hop off of this without dying? The answer is no! Oh, no! <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, well, I'll revive here. Maybe. Custom death counter there. Oh no, rip, rip. No, no, oh no. Okay, something around the back. <laughs> death counter still works. Yeah, Cardinal05, uh, add-on developer added that just for me. Um, Car Cardi's, Cardi's amazing. <laughs> On the, uh, Zenimax, uh, team now. Okay, you said there was something around the back, so, wait, can I get around back here? Just don't want to miss anything. Um. 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 Oh, there's a platform up. How did I miss that? Oh, no, I might be stuck now. I hopped down. Am I trapped? I might be trapped. 
Well, I found my way back to the death pit. Well, uh, I mean, Eric, <laughs> I don't know if there's a way back up uh, at this point. I'll have to go back to the beginning, which will put me back at the very, very, very beginning. Oh, well. Climb the rock and jump over the railing. Oh. I think Stabity has a death counter for her, too. I think it only works if you happen to be on that character, though. Okay, there was some way around this. Okay, sorry, sorry. Let's, I gotta go a little quicker through these. Because we have a lot of houses to get to tonight. I know, I know. Wait, something... Wait, how do I get up there? I'm under the stairway now. Ah! <laughs> oh no! No. Not test the gravity. Oh, how do I get around there? I'm missing where the stairway starts. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay. Now, oh, okay, there's like way more to this house. Okay, cool, cool. I can get up here. We have a feast. We have a feast full of bunnies. And other critters. Oh, it's cute. It's cute. <laughs> this still just our first house tonight. Oh no, we have we have a lot to get to tonight. More going up, going up, going up, going up, going up. No wait, there's something secret here. Turn off the crystal to the lift. Don't worry if your view is distorted. Ooh, oh I don't know if I want to go up the lift. Am I going up? Turn on the crystal. There's a crystal. Should I be scared? Safe travels. Why do I have a bad feeling about this? Well, this would be a maybe not the right sort of trigger. Anyway, it looks like I could go up, maybe. The owner would have to be there for this one. Yeah, this isn't a proximity trigger. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That'd be an animation that would work with that. Well, I'll take this other elevator. <laughs> take the stairs. Oh, there's some sort of secret up there. That's okay. I'll keep going up. Might be able to get a glimpse of it from up here anyway. Yeah, you can actually have um, animations using essential housing tools there. Oh, Logaloo. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for your support. And we have the Drunk Alfik up here. Ooh, what a lovely bedroom. Up in the tower. Pretty fancy. wonder how they get all the furniture up here. Must be a chore. Okay, and... More, more to explore. More to not fall to my death. I like how you've kind of... um embedded the lights throughout the columns here. Kind of good way of doing this. Oh, I sold stuff on MM. Cool. Okay, did I miss anything out here? Okay, I think that will do it. Let me know if that's it, P Pandora. Thank you, thank you. Lovely, lovely, lovely home. Seen them all. Thank you for coming. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay, and we'll keep going along. To our next home, J-Bone has put a lot of thought into prepping for this next one. <laughs> okay, I'm excited. I'm excited to see what J-Bone has put in their uh, Grand Cedric Villa. They, they sent me a really long backstory. Um, I'll maybe read a little bit of it. Um, I think that they have some people here. They have eight other people here filling some roles. Okay, so we have we have the Grand Cedric Villa. This is part three with the summer fall event, right? Um, we have a lot of these everlasting waterfalls to extend this waterfall. Okay, so where where are we going? You're not using the the back water part of this. Okay, it's a little mysterious. A lot of light. And this cave, it's not very scary though. It's, it's pretty light here, using maybe not as dark of boulders. A little bit magical with all the mushrooms. It's not very intimidating so far. Oh, it looks like we're just going directly into the house. So before I... Well, okay, I'm gonna get in and then I'm gonna read the story. A little story. A little, a little, a little context. Okay, we have Meridia, Meridia there. All the light going into this kind of magical, magical space. Very mysterious. Okay, so they say Meridia 
has lured eight elven masters of magic to a mythical realm she created in Oblivion to grow their power and wisdom, and then open a veil to Aetherius and lead her armies in so she can rule over all the planes of existence. Oh, a little, a little intimidating there. Oh, I don't think of Margrethe as this conqueror. But anyway, um, j -Bone had a really long uh, narrative to this, but I'm just going to maybe read a little bit about the... The elven masters of magic here. They say, Together we would reforge the shattered blade of our legendary champion, Umaril, and we will rip open the veil back to Aetherius. Together we shall follow our keeper, the radiant one, the bright lady, our righteous guiding light, Meridia. We shall storm into Aetherius with her energy fueling our magic and with her light guiding our path. We will right the atrocity of Mundus for our great ancestor, Ariel, as our Lady of Infinite Energies, Meridia, purifies Mundus and Aetherius and restores the dignity of existence. Okay, so maybe they're a little high on power here, but they're very optimistic about the Bright Lady here. So, we may, we were, so one thing that's kind of interesting about this is that we have eight different elven masters of magic, so... We'll maybe see a little bit of each of those as we go and explore this place. So, maybe different themed rooms. Um, okay. So, yeah, we have different color schemes and everything. and Everything's a little bit more magical. Well, let me go and... Yeah, let me go around and explore all these different things. I like the Aeliad uh, look to this place, too. So a very otherworldly place. And there are a lot of people in this house. I haven't come across some yet, which makes me wonder where they are. <laughs> okay. Okay, more like alien bookcases up above here. Very bright, very reverent towards Meridia, the Lady of Light. Um, there's also, you know, Meridia known for the colored rooms. Um, it's kind of her realm. So maybe that kind of makes sense why everything's kind of like broken up into these these different schemes. So we have, like, this would be like an Altmer type of a room here. Yeah, very, very... Ooh, here we go. Oh, we have them all. We have them all. We have... Oh, yeah. So, different elves. So maybe we'd have, like, a Telvanni. Maybe an Altmer. Maybe an Aeliad. Um, like a Wood Elf. A... Ice, ice Elf, I think, might be represented by the seat of the Snow Prince, right? Oh, maybe that would... Ooh, oh, no, I may be missing one. And then we have the eight. So we have six around here. And then maybe you're supposed to be Meridia. Definitely, definitely might not be Meridia. <laughs> no, no, we're, we're, we're borrowing power from Meridia. And then, wow, look at, look at all, wow, I really like how you have, like, the beams of light coming out and everything, right? Snow Elf, did I miss one? Which one did I miss? As, oh, um, I, I gotta get them to, uh, not disappear while I get some screenshots. I, I, it's so cool that they came here to fill in, right? Am I, I'm a Moo Elf, right? I, I count, I count. Praise bees, praise Meridia. <laughs> no, Meridia, Meridia, give me power. Um, that's nice use of the pool. <laughs> All the power. They are being imbued. They are going to take back Aetherius. In the name of the bright lady. All the brightness. Ooh, that's kind of cool with a little sun. All the brightness. All the brightness here. Oh, I can't quite fit them all in the screenshot. Oh, wait, there's another one. <laughs> I didn't see you. That, that would be maybe the, uh, maybe... That's a Wood Elf Throne. I think one one's might be from Grotwood and might, one might be from somewhere else. It's all in the backstory here. Uh, one is a Bosmer and one's a Fallen Nasty. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, that's pretty gnarly. Yeah, that's cool. All the Mirror, all the all the all, all, all yes, all the Elves here. Cool, cool, cool. This is this is something pretty. Pretty awesome to put on. They're right, getting power. Now I'm selling more stuff. Art of War. <laughs> I'm reading the Art of War. 
That makes sense. Now it makes sense how there are eight of them. I was like, where's the seventh one? No, I don't get to be the Moo Elf. Dang it. Wicked sweet. Okay, now... There's still more to see here. We got more in the back. Wait, wait, wait. There's a desert coffer. Okay, Meridia has set aside a little bit of power just for me right here in the coffer. Oh, oh yes. A lovely, 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 beautiful gem. Infinite gems. <laughs> Precious gems. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. I'm having flashbacks. It's okay. It's okay. Thank you, thank you, Meridia. I'll take uh, I'll take that gift. Treasure it, treasure it. Wait, there's more in the back. Oh yes, calling upon Ariel there. Is there more stuff back here? There's even more stuff. It's not like you just had that one scene. You have like all of this. Very pretty planters, and again, very very colorful throughout this. Just like a big font of power down here. All the crystals. You know, they look like little switches. Oh, I really like how you change these switches up. So we have like the alien switches there, and then we kind of have these mox switches using the, the blocks plus the crystals with them. Definitely looks like a control panel. It's, there's something mechanical to this. It's not just asking for Meridia's favor and she gives it to you. It's like we have to have all these machinations that make it work. Oh, this is so cool. It's like a conduit of power. <laughs> okay. Interesting way of doing this. That's using a lot of those alien sconces from the luxury vendor. Push the buttons. Uh, do the buttons do anything? I don't know if they would do anything. I would kind of doubt they would. But I'm going to push them anyway. Give me power, Meridia. More. I'm more. More? Maybe not. Okay, maybe not push the buttons. Maybe. Maybe the different... Different tiles here tell you what buttons to push. Okay. And... I think... I think I've seen it all at this point. So, what, what a wonderful way of kind of symbolizing all of this and kind of really representing it, right? Okay, I'll say thank you all. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, thank you all. Thank you all. Thank you all. This was fun. <laughs> Great build. Nathan Jelly, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm dancing, dancing, bullhorning for Meridia. Meridia, I bullhorn to thee, beautiful. <laughs> Ooh, I like energy all over. This is kind of trippy, actually. This is kind of cool. There are, like, a lot of different kind of magical things and mementos and things that you can do to really invoke a lot of power. There we go. Oh, bullhorns. All the bullhorns. <laughs> I feel blessed here. Fun place. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay, we'll continue along. I think, I think we got it. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna keep moving along with our housing hike. We still have seven houses to get to, so here we go. Okay, we're going to Ot Atin's Grand Cedric Villa up next. Thank you, everybody. Oh, thank you. And thank you, j -Bum, for putting that all together and getting all the bodies in there. <laughs> thank you, everybody, for participating. That was fun. All the different elves. All seeking power. All these mage masters. Masters of magic, yep. Okay. Continuing along, Atin says that they always wanted the Earth here cavern, but they couldn't quite afford it. So they made their own. So let's see. Ooh, gonna sign the guest journal. So Grand Stigic Villa ended up being a free home. So hey. It can make your own cavern. Oh yeah, so we have... There's one thing that's kind of cool about house, housing is that you can really kind of steer where your uh, visitors go. So if you want to close them in so that they go a specific direction and look at your build, you can do that. Ooh, we have emergency supplies there. <laughs> perfect, perfect. Big bucket full of sweet rolls. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I see, I see. We can go up. Ooh, it's a... Are, are, is this lowering or is this going up? 
is the smuggler providing us with sweet rolls and booze? Or is that our tribute to the top side? Hmm. Okay, anyway, we have a cavern down here. Ooh, full of treasure. Ooh, ooh, I like all the treasure. Can I open the coffers? Ooh, we have extra treasure. Ooh, extra, extra treasure. Good deal. <laughs> Good deal. More, more, one more. Ooh, auger. Big treasure pile. So maybe, maybe we have some hidden treasures in the cave down here. So this is a little secluded. Makes me wonder if it's ne'er do wells live down here. We have fish. They're getting by with their cave. Oh, this is using Gregic Sigic Fella. You know what? This is really does remind me of Earth here with the all the cave rocks and everything, right? And that kind of opens up in the back. It definitely has a feel of Earth here. That's that's really c clever. <laughs> Even has a wall in the back. Okay, cool, cool. And then we have more. Let's see what else they put in here. So we're we're by the water, so we have a lot of fish and everything to uh, survive on. And good way of doing this. Has Grand Sigic Villa, which a little bit more ocean side as well. Okay, pretty fun. Maybe a little bit of a humble life here. We have our, our worms as the bait for the fish. We're being pretty successful with that. Water might be full of slaughterfish. <laughs> okay, no. Okay, good. And they have their master angler fishing achievement boat there, too. Good. I need to still get that one. Very clever. I love it. Love it. And... Oh, another thing to note here on this one is Atin is only using 350 out of 700 items, so this is a non-ESO Plus build as well. I know that most of the houses that I do show here are maxed out on the item limits, but just kind of keeping in mind that, especially if you're only using a smaller part of the home, you can kind of do a lot with it. So this is kind of more like a medium-sized home within a notable home so that you're still having a pretty pretty high-density um, furnishing situation going on. So, yeah, 350 out of 700 on the furnishing limit. Still creating this awesome scene and looks really great. Okay. With a whole custom home down here. <laughs> I'd say humble living, but they have, they have a little bit of a nest egg here. So, hope that they don't get disturbed too much. Okay. That was really awesome from Atin. The roof looks like... Well, it looks like the, the cave. I always mix up my stalagmites and stalactites. Um, cave rocks. <laughs> With teeth. Okay. Ma, I know, it's always what it looks like. Okay, we'll go on to the next home. Now, to maybe rub it in. I put the... <laughs> I put an earth tier cavern up next. Okay, so up next, we have earth tier cavern um, from Tactical AFK. So we'll maybe be able to, com well, I was going to say we can maybe compare, but I, I kind of know that Tactical AFK didn't just use the earth here in a normal way, but even this load screen, you can kind of see like the, the rocks in the background, kind of looks similar. Um, but Tactical took their earth tier and didn't just use a dozen earth tier, they did it a little bit differently. We'll go and see what they've done with this. G equals ground, C equals ceiling. So stalagmite is ground, and it reaches towards the ground, right? And stalactite reaches towards the ceiling. That's how you remember it. Is that right, gelatinous snake? <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm just giving a hard time. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. I'm obtuse. That's fine. Okay, so this is tactical AFK. So st stalagmite, stalagmite is on the ground. Stalactite is on the ceiling. Okay, okay. Attached to the ground. Attached to the ceiling. There we go. There we go. Okay, that's a good way of remembering it. Thank you. Actually, that might help me. Okay, and so ta tactical AFK again on this one hasn't. Used, so there's the earth there. You can see, kind of see out there. Um, yeah, kind of, kind of see out. That way, that's how no, no, normally it's used, right? Oh, uh, ooh, Kumi <laughs> with 
with the follow. Thank you, thank you. Um, okay, but what Tactical AFK has done has just used this little side portion of this. So we have this lovely, lovely um, little pathway over the water and... What did they call this? They called it Crystal Falls. And we definitely see the waterfall there. A lot of the houses do have built-in waterfalls. They're usually a good thing to uh, build around. There aren't pretty waterfalls over there. Yeah, so you built around the pretty waterfalls. So going through this, I really like this kind of winding path. Kind of like snakes around and you get these lovely crystals in between here. Okay, this is really, this is really cool. Cool, cool, like like it. Ooh, lovely, lovely crystal here. A little bit magical the way that you have this set up, with the with the green hag raven cauldron underneath, just kind of adds a little bit of a green glow to this. And so, so we have the very green aspect to to this all, right? So, using lots of these crystals, a lot of the green crystals are from the Vivek City Achievement Furnisher, and they're. Fantastic. Um, we, we had seen Crisea use so many of them for her ice palace that we saw last week. That was, that was something. Um, yeah, so you can get really, really weird with the crystals too. So it's good to see these in a kind of a different context here. Love, love the kind of serenity of this place. And I can see that maybe there's like different paths to different different crystals. So we had the kind of like a green area, and then we have like this purple area. Oh, wow, you're using like the everlasting waterfalls with those, with the geodes just kind of around this, so it's like the entire waterfall is kind of like this purple tint. That's that fun. And kind of framing it with the flower, or uh, the Eleanor maples and everything around this. Definitely inspired by Crisea. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's tactical. I don't know who isn't. Uh, yeah, Crisea, Crisea is amazing. Um, not to detract too much from this build, because I think this is amazing. Um, and then over this way, continuing kind of with the green theme. Nice place with all of the trellises around. Very secluded. Very peaceful. I kind of dig this, because I'm a big fan of the spicy green color scheme. My guild colors. See, I match, I match. A little bit of golden tint to it, but hey, I still kind of match. Oh, wow, you actually added, like, the entire waterfall is just caked in the, the, the backs of those green crystals. I didn't notice that. It's just, that's a lot of goldage that you spent to make that happen. <laughs> um, yeah, so you have, like, the spiky sides of the crystals, right? But then if you turn them back around, they have a very flat, glassy surface to them. So you're just using the backside of those to get these green waterfalls. I thought it was just some sort of a broader effect, but gosh. And a little bit of labor. I love to make that happen. Mmm. <laughs> Burrito, thank you, thank you. Um, and, yeah, I might want to... Keep notifications on if you want to know when I go live. Um, oh, wait. We have more colors. I see we have red over this way. Oh, more. More of these little different... Oh, yeah. We have like a... Ooh, it looks a little... I don't know. Just that like, red and darkness to it. Kind of reminds me of like a vampiric type of a realm. Ember Fairy says, You have a metric ton of very creative people who do these submissions, to, <laughs> to be fair. That's true. That's true. Um, I'm definitely, definitely... Uh, spoiled in that sense. Thank you, everybody, for allowing me to come and tour your homes. And uh, maybe a more diminutive little yellow aspect over this way with a little waterfall. You know, maybe this is just how they've naturally formed over time. Yellow yellow crystals are a little bit more rare in that sense. Okay. <laughs> Ancestor Glade. Oh, I, I love the use of colors throughout this. Okay, and it looks like we have another winding path up this way, the Crystal Falls. A yeah, winding path with the stalagmites, stalagmite right here. <laughs> Caught myself there. Okay, going up. Winding path. We got blue. We got like a whole rainbow here. Beautiful, beautiful. So blue, blue crystals up above. Oh, the interesting thing about this is we actually have some um, uh, uh, crafted obelisks here. So it's a little natural here. So maybe other... You know, mages or something have come through here and maybe 
tuned this to their own uses, and it's not 100% natural. Yeah, so we have like a lovely blue fall here as well. Great use of this Moon's Blessed Ceremonial Pool. Very magical. All the crystals, oh. So we have our blue, we got our green, we got our purple, we got our red, and our little bit of yellow there. Fantastic. Crystal Falls. We're really playing off the theme here. Love it, love it. <laughs> the yellow ones are kind of weirdly shaped. Fair enough, fair enough. I like how, like, you had the one waterfall that you really liked, and then you kind of created your other, your own other ones here. Okay. Awesome. Awesome way of doing it. Okay. We'll keep moving along. Yeah, this is all, this is all created. This isn't a natural waterfall. It's all those small everlasting waterfalls, just using bunches of them and embedding more of those blue crystals and everything throughout that to give it a little bit of a different hue. Okay. Really fun. Tactical AFK. That's super creative. Thank you so much. Okay, next up we have three homes from Pommy Pom. Now they're all kind of related. So we're going to go and explore this place. Oh, pa Pommy Pom was the one with the proximity triggers. We'll we'll see what this looks like. Uh, maybe be prepared for some weird moments during this one. So Pommy Pom has in their Cold Harbor Surreal Estate. I'm getting in here. We have three. Oh, we have a guest journal. The Burrow. So we have three Harry Potter themed. Uh oh. Uh, builds. Oh, this is like a lot of visual effects. So, I'm trying to remember this. At least I... No, this is it. Okay, we have the burrows. So this would be the... The home of the Weasleys. No, that's not right. Yes, the Weasleys. The Weasley family. Big, big family, right? So... Let's go, let's go see what the Weasley found. Okay, so Harry Potter. I remember uh, Ron's father and all the other Weasleys, if I can remember all their names. There was Ginny and there were the twins and there were more, a big, big family. Well, Ron, Ron Weasley's father, Mr. Weasley, we'll call him Mr. Weasley, had an illicit car. You're not really supposed to use muggle. Um, machines and everything, right? But they he magically imbued it so it could fly, right? Big big deal. So that's kind of like re all these references here, right? The car. Oh, that was a Patronus. Yes, the uh, spectral thing there. I, yeah, so I'm... Point out if you're on Twitch here or if you're maybe on YouTube and you want to point out any references I might miss because, man, it's been a while. It's been a while since I've read the books or um, seen any of the movies. So... Uh, let me explore more of the courtyard, and then I'll go explore the house, because the house is going to be something really unique. Because <laughs> it has, like, tons of floors and everything. I don't remember the uh, landscape around it. I guess I always pictured the burrows as kind of being just very isolated. I don't really, really remember it having water and forest around it. I thought there was a farm nearby, or maybe that's just how the movies portrayed it. I don't know. Anyway, maybe maybe there are certain things here that you might recognize that I might miss. So I think most everything's going to be inside at this point, though. Oh, yeah, that would be the Patronus. So that's a cool way of doing it. Treehenge lady might represent something. Okay, cool, cool, cool. The gates are doors. Yeah, I can go up into this. So uh, one thing to note about the general shape of this is it's very... Um, Oddly shaped, not not just like a standard architecturally sound house. It's very kind of cobbled together, right? So this has all been constructed out of nothing. Um, and so we'll go explore this. <laughs> oh, man. Now, one thing I remember about the, the burrow here was that, oh, we had, I think, mostly Mrs. Weasley making all sorts of... Um, food and things 
you know, with magic, right? So everything was like cooking itself and everything, but there's still a lot of wand waving around to make all that happen. So I like like the, the pot here with the bubbles. That's a really cool way of using this, uh, <laughs> the lid with the subject bubbles, which it's, oh no, it's not, it might not identify this. Oh, I don't think it's going to work. There's an achievement for Nasheen. I want to say it's from... Or maybe it's from... Maybe it's from the Artem craftable one. There's there's a Sigic Orb that it may... I think it's craftable. It's bound, though. Anyway, it moves around, so it's like it's bubbling. I love, I love the kitchen. Very, very fancy kitchen area. All these, like, magical particles using visual effects. We have a banana hanger <laughs> using the whale tail from the antiquities so yeah getting into the weasley family home here we have living paintings so using the house guests to, to make these paintings and everything or maybe they actually had a tv did they have oh, oh yeah that's kind of cool the cat kind of walked into the frame there i'm trying to remember if they had a television anyway yeah, more, more moving paintings and everything. The mo moving portraits, that's right. Because that, that's how a lot of the, the paintings and pictures in um, Harry Potter world work, right? No, nobody, Nobody's just going to stand around. <laughs> okay, we have... Ooh, wait, we have something here. Oh, I see. I see what this is. Oh, this, this is one of those proximity triggers. So um, this kind of... Remembering the transport system where you could go into the fireplaces with the green flames and you could f f flu powder your way, something like that, to different places, right? So this whole transport system. So they're actually integrating that with the Essential Housing Tools portal system. I love how the green flame lights up when you get close to it. So um, that's something that you can actually do even without the homeowner here. F flu network. Yes. Flu powder. Yes. Okay, that's super cool. Now, there are going to be more of these proximity triggers. Oh, like this. If I get close enough to the gate, it will open. That's a really cool way of using those proximity triggers. I That's that's awesome. I forget what they're called in, in the essential housing tools. Okay, getting more up into here. Now, one thing is with so many family members, there's just like chaos inside, right? There's all, every, all the little kids are going to have their different things. Oh, I got... Oh, Polly Pom is here. Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, I'm, I'm exploring everything. I hope that's okay. I don't really remember the layout of this house. Oh, we have maybe... <laughs> we have maybe the uh, a broomstick there. I think the Weasleys mostly use the... Um, the hand-me-down brooms, right? Oh, anyway, there's a lot of nostalgia here. This would maybe be filling in for Gryffindor. With the... With the... With the lion, right? Not quite blue, but... Hey, it works. It works here. More magic. Oh, this is cool. Uh, I'm pretty impressed with this. Can I? Oh, oh, we have like little automatons and things. Doing their laundry inside. Cool build. Or is that supposed to be the Nimbus 2000? Oh, maybe that's Harry. Because Harry stayed with them for a while, right? Um, but <laughs> we have a magical washing machine. So... <laughs> I don't really like this. Um, big vortex there. It's using a lot of the visual effects to, to make this a lot more active. So oh, maybe, maybe that's supposed to be Harry's. I like the use of the, the uh, horn candle there. Has a little bit of a saddle to sit in that way, right? Clever way of doing it. Okay, there's going to be so many different layers to this house. I think they're just kind of letting me get around here. Okay, more to explore. Gosh. Now, I kind of feel like I have to get up close to everything just so I don't miss too much. No, no, I, I actually said more things that they have just so I don't miss any of them. I'll go through and then we'll see if I miss any. Yeah, more of these like living portraits. On, the, on this one, it's just using some visual effects from Essential Housing Tools to get that little spiral going on. 
or the little little tiny you have like a little sparkle there and the little light beam there too so it's like multiple things to make this a little bit more lively oh, that's not at all creepy that works though <laughs> it's from the veteran hollows achievement more up more going upage storage up above Ooh, I see like two paths up. Getting to very, very, very top, maybe. A uh, bedroom. We have. It's oh, very icy here. Somebody left a window open. Uh oh. And more of these living, living portraits, moving, moving portraits, right? Oh, we've really added a lot with that. It's a good way of doing it with the the Craglorn frame, and then like with your house guests or the pets. Maybe add a couple flowers or something to add a little bit of brightness to it. Is that gate open? Okay, no, no. Okay. And I thought I saw one more path, maybe. Up this way. Yes, okay. I have a bathtub. Oh, with uh, handles, that's kind of an interesting way of doing it. Or just kind of modifies that a bit. I'm trying to remember something special about a bathtub. Did they have a special bathtub? Anyway. Chef Cookie says, love this build. Huge Harry Potter fan. Yeah, it's super, super creative, isn't it? <laughs> we have a toilet. Perfect, perfect. God, you said the Fallen SD Shrine, or the, the throne there. Read a book. And good view of everything from up here. Now, let me just make sure I didn't miss any of the triggers. They say, oh, I missed one. And I missed another one. And I missed another one. Wait, 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 wait. So one thing is... Oh, I see. If I get close enough to the... The toilet, the sensor will turn on. Um, it's not super obvious. That's kind of funny. Um, and if I get close enough to the water here? Mm. Wait, there's, there's one more down below. I think there's one more down below. Oh gosh, it's such a maze. If I get close to the sink, the water will turn on. Okay, that's pretty cool. I could just do this for hours. Okay, fun, 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 fun. <laughs> okay. Turn the wheel. Oh, no, I had to turn the wheel. It's not a proximity one on that one. Oh, no, I had to get all the way back up. Oh, so much height. Oh, oh gosh, all the, all the nauseating, all the way back up, all the way back up. Okay, I turn the wheel and it will turn on. Turn the wheel. And, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, there's water. Wait, the water's up above. Oh, it's being, I see what it's doing. It's doing the thing where, um... This fountain kind of bugs out sometimes. It doesn't have a very big stream. It's kind of working. I, I saw a little trickle of water come out from there. It's it's just kind of weird. Yeah, it's I see a little bit. Just it's has some weird visual glitches. Sometimes. There it goes. <laughs> there we go. There's our water. Got it. We got it. It's good. All good. I think that will do it. Thank you, Pommy Pom. Moo. Thank you, thank you. I think I think we got it all. No water for me. I just get I get all the cold water. A little trickle of this. Maybe the uh, pipes were too icy. Oh wait, wait! I got the fireplace. Wait, other fireplace. Mm, mm, I, I did the flu flu network. There was another fireplace though. Oh no! Where was it? Where was it? Here? Here? What if I turn that off? Does that do something? Mm. Okay. 
Okay, uh, I don't see that this is doing anything. Well, you can use it to port. Oh, I can port to the next house. Okay, so that's what I can do. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So this will take me to the next house on the docket, right? Yep, okay, here we go. That will do it for the burrows. Gotta get out of here. It's being under attack. <laughs> the Death Eater will get us. Oh, I guess I was going to go to this one third, but we'll go to this one second. Okay. Thank you, Pommy Pom. Now, we're going to continue with the Harry Potter theme a little bit. So, we're going to go to... Let's see if you recognize it. Well, okay, that's cheating. <laughs> we have Hagrid's Hut. Okay, so we have... All the fun stuff. Kingwell with a follow. Thank you, thank you. We have a hut in the, at the edge of the forest. We have the pumpkin patch. We have the... Oh, what was it? Buckbeak? What was, what was the name of the griffin? Is that it? Was that it? I think we had kind of a griffin. Got to be really big, right? And we have the hut here. I mean, spanning multiple, multiple years. There's probably a lot of references to get here. Oh, well, it's at the edge of the forest, so it's full of, full of dark things and spiders and everything. Though Hagrid, Hagrid was never very afraid of anything here. Oh, I'm a, the, it's a little hazy here. Oh no, I might be dying. Oh no. <laughs> it's kind of clever. A little bit of a mist there. Okay, well, I'm going to go explore the outside. Ooh, crocodiles and all all the scary things out here in the forest. Oh, and the, okay. I'll go into this side part first, then. Okay, so workshop with all, all, lots of tools and everything. Aragog. Aragog was a big spider, right? Okay, we're working on things. And we have more of the hut over this way. Okay, so we have... Feng. Feng was a dog. That will work. We have a biting book. <laughs> yeah, a lot of the books um, were a little dangerous. Or was it, was it Fantastic... Was it Fantastic... Beasts, one of the books that tried to attack you. I know some of them did, right? Book of Monsters. Book of Monsters there. Okay, that'd be not Fantastic Beasts. It would be uh, Book of Monsters. Okay, that makes sense. Maybe a little... Maybe different. Pommy Pom says Book of Monsters. It is different. Okay. And we have maybe a maybe a dragon egg? No, we have... We got a dragon egg in here at one point, right? How to keep it hidden. Is this a dragon egg? Uh, no, it's ready to hatch. Oh, it's our little dragon! Oh no! Such a cute thing. Hagrid Hagrid makes the best parent though, right? <laughs> Not quite ready yet. <laughs> go go back in. Okay. Um And I'll just like the all the trappings of the hut here. <laughs> Norbert was it Norbert the dragon? I think that's right. There, there's Norbert. <laughs> What's the other egg? Maybe that's just breakfast. It's cute. I know, it's super cute. I love I love using the uh, Nidic orb here for the egg. It is, I know, <laughs> it's super adorable. Um, growing things inside, all these cool things. Hagrid, very, very reliable character, right? Just all of everything in here, it's, it's just so immersive. Remember, kind of like a really big chair. I think this is a pretty big, thick chair to go with. Everything's just so busy inside. Okay, I think that will. I think that will do it for this house, then, right? Okay, thank you, thank you, Pom and Pom. We have one more home, one more home to go to from Pom and Pom. Kind of keeping within the theme. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. 
Maybe it makes a sense that there's a little bit of a... Oh, wait, what happened? Uh, I got reset somehow. That's weird. Trying again. Maybe it made, it made sense that there's a little bit of a connection between the burrow and Hagrid's hut here. Maybe not so much to this next place. It's not letting me port out. Should I, should I leave? You use the port? Oh, I'm, am I going to the wrong... Oh, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. I'm going to... I was expecting to go here third, and instead I went here second. Never mind, I'm going to Kragenholm instead. <laughs> you threw off my list. It's fine, that's fine. Okay, Kragenholm. Small home. I definitely advise everybody to get it. It's 69,000 gold unfurnished. It comes with a dark elf, but a coals that will sell for more than 69,000 gold. You have no reason not to get this house. But what has Pommy Pom done with it? Something creative. We have Snape's office. The potions. Potions class teacher. Mostly potions class teacher, at least at the beginning. Very, very frightening place. Ooh, love. Ooh. Yeah, we have all the books here. And the big cauldron. Full of, wow, it's like really fast paced there. <laughs> Swirling it all together. Okay, just kind of taking this all in. Thank you, thank you. Alnivore, 18 months. Oh, thank you, thank you so much. Keep making all the happy things happen. Thank you so much. Okay, so we have Snape's office. Maybe you will recognize some of the aspects of this, or maybe it's just kind of a general kind of potions area. Ooh, adding little purple crystals. Kind of smelly there. It's probably using the skooma bubbler underneath there to uh, make that work. Oh my gosh, Ragor. Thank you, thank you. Welcome to our PCNA housing hike. Let me do a quick shout out for you. We're continuing along on PCNA, getting some decoration inspiration, touring some amazing houses. We're currently in Pommy Pom's Kragen Home, which has been redone as Snape's office. Um, so a lot going on. Then we have like a maelstrom of green goopy goodness through the gate. I don't think I dare go through. That's <laughs> using visual effects from essential housing tools. Oh, there's Papa's lamp for the purple plume there. Skuma has a purple plume too, but that works. Um, yeah, it's like all the dust. Don't, don't breathe this. Beautiful, beautiful. Ollie Gathor. <laughs> With the follow. Thank you. Beautiful, beautiful. We just have a couple more homes, and then we'll, we'll be wrapping up doing some giveaway. Oh, this whole thing is moving. Whoa, what? Oh, I didn't even notice that. Oh, I think Pommy, Pommy Pom had to be here to make this happen. It's like the whole floor. Oh, can't keep steady here. Maybe this will open up into a secret entryway. Oh, this is kind of disorienting. That's <laughs> kind, of, kind of cool. Okay, thank you, thank you. Go follow Ragwar there. I, I hope you had an amazing stream. And all the snakes, uh, right? Very, very, uh, dedicated to Slytherin. The only Che with a resub. Thank you, thank you so much. All of the, all the love. Thank you, thank you so much. Okay, I think that will, I mean, Kraken Home is a pretty small space, so I think this will be it. I'll say thank you, thank you. So three houses from Pommy Pom, all within this kind of Harry Potter space. Saw the burrows and... Is it the burrows or the burrow? Oh no, I forget. The burrow and the Hagrid's hut and Snape's office here. Really fun. Jeff Cookie says, love all the Harry Potter builds. Got the tale of Beetle the Bard for Christmas. Oh, fun. Okay, and we'll keep moving along here. Two ho two homes left tonight. Oh, Rogral. Did I spell your name wrong? Let me... Well, let me see if they're online. <laughs> I don't think they're here. Oh, no. Oh, we'll maybe do them next week. I if I spelled their name wrong. I don't think I did. Or, Growl, you don't happen to be here in Twitch chat, do you? Otherwise, I'm going to skip you for now. Because you also needed me to group up with you to do some of the things in your house. Okay, well, I'm going to go to Jay's and Jelly's up next, then. Well, we maybe sort that out, or maybe don't. Okay. That's okay if we do just one fewer house tonight. 
been really, really enjoying these. So, <laughs> so fun, so fun. They're not here. Okay. I'm surprised it wasn't accessible. Maybe they had a last minute switch up. Because I was able to get there before. I, I do generally preview these. Okay, so Jay is in Jelly. So, uh, maybe a little backstory. Um, they say... They, they sent me a little um, blurb about this just a little bit, which is that they were trying to do like Wayne Manor, um, but they kind of got a little overly invested in it and realized that the house layout wasn't maybe going to work perfectly for that. So just kind of think of this as a fancy, smancy billionaire house. Maybe I wasn't, maybe I shouldn't have overshared all that, but that's kind of what they were going for on this. So maybe just thinking of it as a fancy, smancy, maybe, maybe, maybe Batman lives here a little bit, maybe a little bit. <laughs> Just, but not entirely. So there, there may be going to be a couple of nods to that, um, but not entirely. Um, just going to quickly go around and look at maybe a gazebo in the back or the nice plants and everything around, and then we'll we'll go and uh, into the interior summer house. Yeah, it's Batman's summer house. <laughs> that makes sense. Um, <laughs> Could be, could be. So I see things like the the big uh, telescope, like fancy, fancy things. I see the greenhouse. It looks like I'll be able to get up into that. Family cemetery is back there. Oh, I missed it. I missed it. Um, try try go back there. Seems like it's kind of. Oh wait, it's not blocked off. Mm, I missed the cemetery. I think that was important. Oh, or maybe this is supposed to be like a mausoleum. Maybe this is supposed to be... I see, just a very revered place. Oh, okay, a little lag. Okay. And Jay is enjoy. Oh, is here. You can fill me in on any details I might miss. Or may maybe you'll recognize a couple things. Okay. No scary bats so far, at least. Okay, going inside. Now it's going to be a little smatchy. <laughs> Oh yes, yes, with all the paintings, the statues, big over-the-top vampiric paintings here. Oh yes, perfect, perfect. Colorful walls, kind of, like, kind of thinking of it, of like, crumb molding and all, kind of all that going on with this. I've had a little bit of, like, a museum feel to it. Oh, the richness of it. Changing things up. Now, I don't know if I have a plan. I'm just going to kind of go around. Yeah, changing up the walls with the carpets. Good way of doing it. Now, what do we have over this way? We have... Ooh, very fancy bed. Using a lot of those dwarven furnishings adds a little bit of like that kind of gilded feel to it. Very rich looking. Going tr triple wide on the bed. <laughs> Actually combining multi- this is like six beds put together. That's actually kind of crazy. So it's like three dwarven beds plus three of the elsewhere beds. And the interesting thing about it is it looks pretty seamless from the top. Big bed. Imagine, you know, little, little, little Bruce would come in and be like, Mommy, who's alive? Daddy, who's alive? I can't sleep. And they're like, okay, future Batman, you can come sleep with us. And... See, very adorable moments. I, I don't remember how Bruce, little baby Bruce was. Anyway, where's, where's Alfred? Well, maybe maybe we'll find a place for Alfred in here. Anyway, it's not like a 100% Batman build, but it's kind of kind of that. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, continuing. Wait, we have... Oh, fancy bathroom. Ooh, this, this is what I like. This is what I like. We have these cobbled sinks, very fancy, again, with the dwarven mirrors um, and everything going on with this. Oh, oh, throne. Beautiful throne using the polished ivory. Kind of looks like a cushioned seat there. A bit more fancy using the... the uh, I love the reach. Markarth DLC, worth it alone because you get these... Achievement furnishings like this advanced toilet paper holder. That's definitely what that was intended to be used for. Billionaire's toilet paper holder here. Perfect, perfect. <laughs> I know. Um, 
Oh, oh, I love the, the shower here. Again, using a lot of these dwarven furnishings with that polished brass look kind of has way over the top, right? Using the strainer down below for a drain. Can't see shower head and everything too. Is that using a tea kettle? I think it's using a tea kettle for that. Um, kind of clever. And a big fountain kind of embedded in there to get all the water flow. Kind of reminds me of really fancy showers that just have like all the holes at the top, like just raining down. Still like a dumpy little shower head. Um, all the water pressure. I know, <laughs> like a lot of water. Yeah, very fancy, very fancy. All right, even just like the mirror here, where you've, you've put the relief tracks up above, just a little bit more of an artistic element added to it. A little bit of like an austere type of a colder feel to it, too, with all the metal and everything. I guess I guess I always felt like things were a little isolated in the, uh, the mansion like this. Like, everything's special because it is here. <laughs> Okay, we have, oh, Jason Jelly here is Timothy J. Drake Wayne of House Ravenwatch. Wait, they are, they are the knight. Wait, I don't know. Are you a Batman? Maybe, we'll go with it. We'll go with it. <laughs> we have the, oh, I can kind of imagine Nocturnal being kind of like holding bats instead. Is that, is that where the lair is? Oh, I want to get to the, the bat cave. <laughs> no. No, no, I can't get to the bat cave. Okay, we have we have a place for guests. They're all robins. I was wondering if you were... I was going to ask... I was actually going to ask if all if you were the person that had all the robin characters. I didn't think it was you. I don't know why I didn't think... Yeah, so Jay and Jelly has a billion robin characters. Like, all of the different robin characters through all the different iterations. That's, that is you, right? Okay, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Change your username. Oh, okay, okay. That's that's why. You you showed me. You had another. You had a bat cave in um. Uh, Erst, erstwhile sanctuary, right? And you had you had like all like the big uh playing card, and you had like the Batmobile on a pedestal, and and all that cool stuff, right? That has got to be you, right? I think so. Yeah, okay, cool, cool. Okay, I remember. <laughs> Mohammed, Mohammed with a follow. Thank you, thank you. Welcome to our PCNA housing hike. We're getting some inspiration here today. We, ooh, we have a fancy billionaire's kitchen. What do we got here? We got... Ooh, big grill. Sink, sink with suds. This, this is not a visual effect. What is this? It's like snow. It's not a snow pile, though. It is... <laughs> it's a snow mortal. It's the butt of a snowman. Beautiful. Beautiful, Jay. Oh, I, I really like your water controls that you have going on. You have the embedded Eleanor fountains, and then you can kind of, like, switch this to control the water. That's really clever. I really like that touch. Yeah, so we have a butt of a snowman is being used to have the sudsy, sudsy water here. <laughs> how, how do you think of that snowman? And you're like, oh, yes. That butt, glorious, would make excellent bubbles for my sink. <laughs> that's, that's a cool thing about housing, though, right? You can really, really get creative with it. Mug rack. Yeah, a creative mug rack there. Oh, that's a good, that's using more of these little clockwork pistons. So you get this like little tree to hang your mugs on. And then we have like a fancy um, espresso maker. With all the buttons, all all the buttons. I, I like I like me some buttons, all the buttons. <laughs> okay, oh wait, we have like a stand mixer over this way too. Oh, fun, 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 fun. Making fancy things for the Waynes. Button masher likes buttons. Oh, good. Oh, fancy, fancy. I can see I'm the guest of honor here. I'll have a feast. And more upstairs. A 
all of these different things. Well traveled. A lot of kind of oddities. Oh, okay, and big library up above too. I have to be smart here, right? Oh, and this will actually go out into the the courtyard that I saw before, right? Oh yeah, we're in the greenhouse I saw from the outside. Kind of like all the winding sitting areas here. That's a really clever way of kind of meshing all of these uh, cabinet shelves together. Yeah, a little bit more kind of all over the place. Really fancy. Nice benches. I, oh, yeah, I love the benches. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful scene with the garden. Okay. And I think that will do it. Did I miss anything, Jay? I mean, you have a lot in this place. A very fancy. Kind of thinking of it as a maybe an eccentric billionaire's house that maybe just happens to be a liker of bats. <laughs> okay, beautiful. Can come sit by the fire. I think that will do it. Let me quickly just make sure. Yeah, okay. We'll get back to Orgrel next week, I suppose. We'll have our housing hike next week. Same time, same bat place, same bat channel. Wait. <laughs> Same Moo channel. That's right. Okay, housing hike next week. Mm, Jason Todd's grave behind the thing in the backyard. Oh, um, that's okay. That's okay. I'll use your imagination on that one. Okay, thank you, Jay's and Jelly, and thank you, everybody. This will wrap it up for this week's PCNA housing hike, then. Um, I will go back through. I will get some screenshots of all the houses that we saw today, put them up on my website, spicyeconomics.com, if you ever need some project ideas you can check that out or just enjoy them and i'll vod this put up on the youtube channel if you're watching there please subscribe that helps a lot we do lots of contests and tours here we do have upcoming housing contests this month um looking forward to those so thank you everybody so amazing amazing houses i want to thank everybody whose homes i tour today pandora heart Autine, j bone tactical afk palm palm or uh, work i will get next week and jays and jelly uh thank you so much thank you so much <laughs> okay jay oh poor poor robin all the robins okay and that will do it that'll do it i have a zombie robin in the backyard i don't know about that okay so thank you everybody so we saw lots of different stylings on this um can really get very fantastical with it maybe recreate scenes from from other from whatever right or you can so we had like batman builds it harry potter things really fun or you can just have these like magical getaway places like these crystal falls or um all, it, palaces and things like that so uh, wow it's a lot a lot so you can really do so much with housing you can get really creative with that and we'll continue to try to spur that on with the channel here so have fun with housing have fun with eso stay spicy move